burst off his Charles J. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to St. Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man. I said, say, man. Listen, uh, uh, Tank Davis versus Frank Martin. A um, lot of reports. Um, um, everybody say their sources is uh, telling them. And, and then you got people pivoting off the people who say they got the source. Um, evidently, this fight is damn near done and uh, it's going to be in the summertime. And I just want to get my thoughts on it. Um, but, you know, it's been a lot of shit. Uh, a lot of shit going on in boxing. You know, I never got this off my chest. Uh, <laughs> I never really gave my opinion on it. Um, I'm definitely against this masculine uh, movement for women. Uh, I'm definitely against it. Um, you know... I don't even like watching uh, movies where these women are just beating up 500 different dudes and they just a hero. I, I just don't, it's just too far-fetched for me, you know. But anyway, the point I just want to say is I'm tired of men fighting for women to have three-minute rounds and for them to go 12 rounds for three minutes. The guys do what they can do it. I'm Tim Bradley, I done heard Sean Porter, I done heard so many men try to fight for women in boxing to have three minutes and for us to uh, promote them more or some shit. Um, I don't believe in the three minutes. Uh, most women that I see be gassed the fuck out. Uh, ain't too many got a good motor like that outside of Clarissa. Uh, Alicia got a pretty good gas tank, especially uh, these last uh, couple fights. But it, it ain't many that got a motor. Katie Taylor got a good motor. Manor Serrano. Yeah, um, I just don't agree with the three minute rounds. And I keep hearing y'all say it'll be more knockouts. Uh listen, bro, <laughs> if you can't do it in two minute rounds, listen, all that just no. Just no. Uh some of you dudes, I'm telling you, you you be cool if your woman drove trucks uh for a living. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not saying I'm not knocking you for I'm just saying I wouldn't. I wouldn't want my woman to be a truck driver. Because you see a lot of women truck drivers now. It's damn near 50-50 now. You see a lot of women driving 18 wheels all over the country and shit. All over the country, all all that night, overnight, uh, sleeping in hotels for a living and shit. A lot of you motherfuckers would be cool if your woman had a job like that. Yeah, because cause you, 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 you make plenty of money. But anyway, that just ain't my style. Um, I don't like I don't like women referees. What the fuck is a woman refereeing men and they punching and shit? What if you get hit? It has happened before. Shouldn't no, And you got to break them up when they when they tie it up. Shouldn't no woman, it takes strength and all kind of other shit. And you getting in the way of that shit and it's punches being thrown. Don't no woman need to referee no men when they fight, bro. Just going too far with this shit, bro. I, I swear to God, they have fucked women. Up. American women are like no other woman. American women are the only women in the world who think they just as tough as a man. <laughs> I'll tell you, I don't know if it's the movies. I don't know if it was, uh, what's her name? What's her goddamn name? Uh, Bush, Bush wife. I don't know if it was her. Cause you know, we, you know, I don't know if it was Ellen. I don't know if it was Michelle. Listen, we used to all talk about how how fine Michelle was, but Michelle was Michelle was stronger than Barack, and that's a fact. She ran the show. Yeah, I think it was Michelle who done this. Show. I, I think she had a big Oprah. Yeah, all them. They just women think they so much smarter and, and can do everything a man can do. And it seemed like men are trying to uh, think they can do everything a woman can do. I'm telling you, bro, I've never seen so many uh, cook shows with me. <laughs> I've just never seen so many. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, boy, it is so many newfound chefs. <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers washing the dishes and cooking this shit. It's cool, bro. It's cool. I'm not saying you feminine because you can cook. 
I'm not saying that, you know, you know, I keep a little sauce in the pot and, you know, I know how to mix some shit up. So, you know, like I said, this sauce will forever remain. But I'm just saying it just looked like the roles have reversed. Uh, they watching the Cowboys and shit and we are we in the kitchen. That's all I'm saying. They they watching the Cowboys or uh, sipping on some Stella Rose and we in the goddamn kitchen. I'm just tired of it, bro. Just stop trying to equal up to us. Because one thing, the difference between a woman and a man, uh, when danger comes, all women scream. Don't no man scream. Not a man. Not all women scream. And all women, deep in their heart, they want protection. Don't no man want protection. Don't no man. No, 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 no. Not no real man. Not no real lion. He don't need protection. He is the protector. That's the biggest difference between a man and a woman. Uh, besides the body part. That's the biggest difference. A woman, deep in her soul, she want to be protected. She, she, she really want a superhero. And uh, every man want to protect. So that's the biggest difference. Uh, so anyway, I just want to say that. But uh, and another thing, um, I get it. Uh, I think it should be more attention on women's boxing. I'm a huge fan of women's boxing. I want to make that very clear. I watch it very. I watch it a lot. Um, the numbers are just. They don't seem to be there. I'm just. Uh, when has there ever been a a pay per view star woman? I think Clarissa Shields the biggest uh, name in female boxing though, and I think she's been one of the greatest self promoters in women's boxing history. Clarissa Shields is the biggest name, and Amanda Serrano are pretty big too. But I think Clarissa Shields is huge. Well, I ain't gonna say, no no no. Let me take that shit back. She's not huge, but for women's boxing, she's huge. But in boxing overall, she's not huge. But in women's boxing. She huge. If you watch women boxing, you damn sure know Clarissa. She's at the top of the list. I get it. Um, and I'm going to say some more shit. Outside of Clarissa Shields versus Alicia Baumgartner, cause that, that, that's the biggest fight in women's history. It's the biggest fight in women's history. And, and it got to be in Detroit. I think they should uh, have it at the stadium where the Lions play. I think they can pack it out. I think this a pay. This the only. This could be the only pay per view that ever sell in women's boxing. It's Carissa versus Lee. that shit gonna sell. I, I'm gonna tell you some rich. That shit gonna sell between three hundred and five hundred thousand pay per view buys. And I, 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 I guarantee. I, I'm, I'm betting on that. I think it'll do between three hundred and five hundred thousand pay, which is a success, especially for women's boxing. That's like damn near doing a million when it comes to women's boxing. I think they could do over three hundred. Over 300k pay per view buys. That's the biggest fight in the history of women's boxing, bro. That that shit is a huge fight. That shit is a huge fucking fight. But outside of that, bro, um, because the WNBA, I'm gonna tell you something. I get more views. Let me tell you something. That video I did about uh, <laughs> the comedian, uh, yeah, making the George Floyd joke. Yeah, videos like that, I get more views than the WNBA. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, outside of just, you know, some of them pretty as hell and shit like that. That's the only time motherfucker really tune in some shit. Motherfucker really rather watch volleyball or some shit. Or uh, track and shit like that. But now WNBA, they just can't seem to get no views. They they just giving away tickets. They just give them away. So, um, women, I just want y'all to, women don't sell like men. Because men are better athletes. Uh, they're more entertaining I get it. It's, it's just what it is. That's the way it's always been. Uh, Carissa Shields is the shit, but she ain't more exciting than Tank. She ain't got shit on no Tank. And she keep talking about Thurman. I just wish she stopped it. it it's just looking ridiculous. Uh, Carissa, she part of this, this new culture, though. I'm telling you, black women really want to be stronger than us. They just really want to be. They just really want to be. Um, there, there's some, you motherfuckers too headstrong. I'm telling you, any woman who thinks she don't need a man is a lost soul. Yeah, 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 you lost in the sauce. You lost, you tangled up, you, 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 you just, you just shackled and bound in the sauce. Uh, and I think, I think 90% of American women think they don't need, it's women that got a man. <laughs> yeah, 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 it, it, it's women that got a man laid right next to her, and she really thinks she don't need him. Most women think they don't need a man. 
And I ain't just going to put that on black women. American women, 90% of them, really think they don't need a man. And they think they can make it without one. Just because you keeping up on the bills don't mean you making it without a man. You depressed as shit. You depressed. You done ran through three vi vibrators and shit. That shit, that shit getting old. Let me, anyway, let me get off women. Let me get off women. And one more thing I want to say is... Uh, I heard that David Benavidez is moving up and it, I don't really want to do a video about it. So I just throw it in this one. Briefly, uh, David Benavidez, he's strategic. I'm telling you, this one of them, I'm going to tell you, so this is some Mary J. Blige shit. This is some, no, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to shed no tears. Yeah, that's when women start thinking they were strong and shit. No, I'm not going to cry. Because you're not worth my tears. That's that. That's the move Bill Vita has just made. Yeah, he made a I'm not going to cry ass move. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. No, 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 this a blur. This a blur. You know when your girl pack her bags and shit. Yeah, yeah, she get the making calls and shit. Uh, yeah, come pick me up and get the packing up. But she bluffing. She bluffing. She bluff. She mad because you going to the club tonight with your homies and all that. Th but anyway, that's a I'm not going to cry move. David Menavides is heartbroken at this point. Um, he trying to bluff. He trying to make Canelo feel like I don't need you, or like I'm just finna move on. I ain't gonna cry. I ain't gonna cry no more. I am not. You are not worth my tears. That's what David Benavidez is telling Canelo. You are not my. I'm finna go fight Voshes. Yeah, I'd rather fight a Slavovsky fighter. And I'm moving up to 175. And I know that you said you weren't comfortable. So I'm making it like, yeah, I ain't worried about you no more. You worried about Canelo, bro. You've been starving yourself for two years, bro, trying to make 168. <laughs> You've been begging for this fight. I'm telling you, bro, you damn near, you damn near pook in New Jack City uh, 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 status when it comes to Canelo. You've been begging, bro. Your father got on the microphone and said, uh, we won't cuss. Uh, we won't be aggressive. We we don't want to say nothing bad about him because we don't want to ruin our chances of getting a fight. So we'll just be nice to him. And that soft ass shit. I never forget that shit, bro. I never forget that. David Benavidez really ain't never just called Canelo no hoe. Like man, fuck, he a bitch. He ain't talk to him like he talked about Jamal or like he talked about Caleb Plant. So the energy is different. David Benavidez is trying to humbly. I'm telling you, bro, he is humble as shit to get this fight. He is so well behaved. He will do whatever it takes because he he wants the same thing that Jamel and them wanted, and the same thing they say Jamal. He wants him to check, bro. It ain't about no greatness or no legacy. Canelo versus David Benavidez is more of a money fight than it is a legacy fight. Bro, we didn't see we didn't Canelo not hard to beat, bro. <laughs> you want to talk legacy, bro? Listen, this I'm not gonna cry as a move, bro. You don't want to fight Voshes. <laughs> you finna make 1.5 million, maybe two million fighting Voshes, bro. Knowing you can make about 30 mil fighting Canelo. You desperate as shit, bro. It's your last move. This I'm telling you, bro. Um, after this, you just gonna throw your hand in, bro. This your last move. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you, you desperate as shit. That's why you didn't stop doing interviews. And why you didn't stop doing interviews and hollering and hollering at us? Cause you used to come over and fuck with black folk. Come back and do some interviews with us. Start, start promoting your brand. Promote you, bro. Stop just trying to come up promote David versus Canelo. Your name is attached to him, bro. Everybody done vouched for you. Stephen A, he vouching for you, bro. All black folks have vouched for you to get the Canelo fight. But start promoting your brand. Who the fuck are you without Canelo? Yeah, who the fuck are you? And another thing I want to say, one thing about David Morrell, bro, you can't run from him. See, Canelo may not go to 175. Oh, but David Morrell and I already said, because he saw this move coming. David Morrell and I, they asked him, if David Benavidez go to 175, you're going to chase him? I'm going to chase his ass up there, too. David Morrell coming, pimping. Uh, you can't get away from him, and he's just as big as you. See, Canelo started at 152 and shit. Canelo a big 168 pounder, but you much bigger than him. David Morrell, he can make 175 right now. He he'll be up there soon, bro. They gonna they gonna put David Morrell against Mobili. 
It's going to be an action-packed good fight. But the power of David Morrell. But he may go through some trouble in that fight. As a, I think Mabili better than people think. I'm, I'm, I think Mabili, I, I said it. He'll stop uh, Munguia. He'll stop him. Mabili will stop Mun Munguia's food. Real shit. That is the one. That's that's a fight. Because one thing I can say about David Benavidez, David Benavidez will beat the shit out of Munguia. And make no mistake, David Benavidez is not trash. He'll beat the fuck out of Munguia. I got David Benavidez beating up Edgar Belanga. Because I just don't think Edgar Belanga is getting better. But I think Edgar Belanga's power would be. I, I like to see that fight because Edgar Belanga got power. And David Benavidez ain't fought no hard punches like that. That's why I say Canelo stops David Benavidez. But. Um, Edgar Belanga is a good fight. Um, but yeah, Benavidez was gonna beat the shit out, and that's why he wanted to fight Mon Munguia. Plus, Munguia started at fifty-four. Benavidez is looking for smaller fighters. That is what he's done his entire career. But he's a hell of a fighter. Only people I think beat him is uh David Morrell and Canelo. I talk that shit, Jamal. Yeah, he can out buy uh, Benavidez or beat Jamal. Just keeping my bias for opinion, Jamal. No. Too much work. Too much activity. And you're moving up to 168. Now, in Jamal Prime, he was better than David Benavidez. Not now. I don't trust him now. I don't trust. I don't know how good he is now. But the prime Jamal was better than Canelo and Benavidez, in my opinion. The prime Jamal, who had the best jab in box. Yeah, that Jamal, that fought Judah and Jay Wright. And that Jamal was better than David and Canelo. But as of right now, David Benavidez would beat everybody except David Morrell and Canelo. At 175, bro, this votes this fight. Uh, Cause you're gonna go and go through with it. You just waiting to hear who Canelo gonna fight. <laughs> it may. I'm telling you, bro, you sad as shit. You done packed your bags and shit. Uh David Benavidez damn near depressed, bro. That's really why he ain't doing it. He's sad about that shit. He's sad. And it's all about the money, bro. It ain't about no legacy. You want that check. You want that chill. I'm telling you, Joe to see mode. I'm feeling. Anyway, um, yeah, um, you just can't leave it alone, bro. Um, but I'm telling you, bro, um, David Benavidez, because he's good. I I'll never take that from you, pimping, but I, the re I've already mentioned why David Morrell beats you. David Morrell is too versatile. And David Benavidez is not a one-punch knockout artist. David Morrell is, bro. That's one thing you motherfucker. You can't sleep on that shit. You can't act like you don't see that shit. David Morrell is a one-punch knockout artist for, with both hands. And he's a southpaw and he's slick and he can really box. And he got great feet. David Benavidez's feet is just as flat as Canelo. Matter of fact, I think his shit more heavier. He is so heavy on the front foot. So heavy. And the little turns and little pivots that uh, Morrell do, bro, he going to hit him with shots he don't see. And David David, Benav David Benav Morrell would be the first fighter that David Benavidez realized, I can't walk you down. David Morrell going to put him on the back foot. Knock him out, bro. Knock him out in devastating fashion. Right now, with 10 fights, he will knock David Benavidez the fuck out. And I got him stopping Canelo. How about that? How about that? I got David Morrell over everybody. Just, just, let me just say it like that. David Morrell will stop anybody at 168, including Canelo, including Benavidez. And I got him beating uh, anybody at 175 right now, including Better Beef, including Bivol. David Morrell better than everybody. And I said it. And he on my pound for pound list. But anyway, um, David Benavidez got action at uh, beating Better Beef. I'm going to tell you some real shit. Better Beaver is very good. I will never... That, Better Beaver is one of the best offensive fighters in boxing. He's not a pound-for-pound pound fighter, but offensively, he got one of the best arsenals in boxing. When he's offensive and you defensive, and he, he a bad man on the front foot. But if you put him on the back foot, he's vulnerable. Same thing I noticed about Loma. When Loma is on the front foot and he mid-range, that's the same thing with Better Beef. Better Beef and, and Better Beef can box. Not on the back foot as well, though. Not on the back foot as well. Better Beef is vulnerable, and I've seen him hurt several times by different fighters. Um, I still would favor Better Beef to knock out Benavidez late rounds, but Benavidez could outwork uh, Better Beef. He could outwork him. Benavidez would get 
uh, Bivol would beat the shit out of Benavidez. Bivol would cleanly outbox him, just make him look bad. Kind of like how he made uh, Ramirez. Kind of, kind of how he made him look. Um, yeah, David Benavidez versus Better Beef is a war. That is a hell of a fight. That is a hell of a fight. And Benavidez could possibly win. I think the power though. Because he has no defense, better be going to clip his ass for one of them overhand right. That overhand right that he hit, uh, that he clipped Yard with, it's going to be the same overhand. It's going to clip him. It's going to clip him. But that's going to be a good fight. He talking about he won wars and shit. Uh, Benavidez versus Better Beef is a real war. And I'd be interested to see who take the first back step. Benavidez versus Better Beef is a real war. I can't lie. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Better Beef got Better Beef got some more years in him. Better be 40, but he, he still... That motherfucker ain't aged like that. Not in the ring. He 40, but that motherfucker still... But I got Bivol beating Better Beef. Bivol going to beat Better Beef. Bivol better. And like I said, I got Dave Morrell beating all of them. And I think the, 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 the second best fighter from 168 to 175 outside of uh, Morrell is Bivol. Bivol. Bivol better than all of them dudes. Uh, at 175 Bivol better I like Boatsy I think Boatsy would give Bivol a good fight though Boatsy would give him A good fight That's very interesting That may be a tougher fight Than Better Be Stylistically Cause Bivol gonna outbox Better Be He gonna out And he ain't scared of that power He got good defense He, he gonna get out of the way That shit But anyway Yeah Benavidez He <laughs> It was the moment say, I was your lover and your secretary, uh, working every day of the week. When I was down, when no one else was there, helping you get on your feet. He left my years of sacrifice. I even left you in the drop of a dime. Yeah, that's the marriage. <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you something. The whole Benavidez camp, that's what they listen They got that song on repeat. Benavidez is heartbroken. But Canelo might surprise the world and go and fight him. But like I said, I don't give a fuck about that fight, bro. That's one fight I really don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck because it ain't as good a fight as people think it is. Canelo going to stop him early. Benavidez going to hear that crowd and get crunk and think he finna walk down. Canelo, you out your goddamn. He going, you chick. That's, that's Benavidez's biggest flaw, bro. Uh, he front foot heavy, and he don't got no defense. No defense. Same way with Inouye. No defense, but nobody ever talks about it. No defense at all. Zero defense. Both of these fighters, who everybody consider, but they call them both monsters, neither one of them have any defense. Any. Uh, 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 38-year-old Nonito Denner broke, broke, his, uh, broke his face, uh, broke something on his face. I don't in a way no defense. People keep trying to erase the fact that he had a tooth and nail fight with a 38 year old fight. And you just keep trying to erase that shit and that cool boy shit just overdone that and the tamales. But either way it go, um it's cool. But yeah, Benavidez, you ain't slick, bro. And that Vosta shit, he easy work. Vosta's 38 now. He done this ain't the same Vosta's uh from the Stevenson Adonis them and all that third. Nah, bro. He's much older. This a good. This a good win for you, bro. Easy win. Easy win. And uh, I think you're gonna try to fight Bivol before you fight Better Beef. Yeah, that's what I think. But I think you will. I think you'll fight Better Beef. But I think you would rather fight Bivol. And then it's kind of like Bivol is the one to beat Canelo. So if you can beat Bivol, uh, Canelo, then he gotta fight me. So anyway, um, Benavidez desperate as shit. Uh, I'm telling you, bro, you ain't finna make nothing but a few meal fighting uh, old Foster. Yeah, this is a desperate race. I'm telling you, bro, you throwing a flea flicker. <laughs> but anyway, Tank versus Frank. Um, okay. I gotta give Tank some credit. <laughs> gotta do it. Um, You fighting a black fighter. <laughs> uh, you putting some money in a black fighter's uh, pockets. Uh, you've made many Mexicans rich. Um, I said it was about time you put some money in a home. Because Frank Martin, I'm telling you, his last fight, he might have made 500000 
Frank Moy Frank Moy might have made five hundred thousand in his last fight. Um, he finna make a couple mil. Yeah, he gonna make over. He gonna make about five to ten mil. About five. Nah, he may not make ten. I don't know. He gonna make over five. Yeah, fighting time. He'll make over five mil. But anyway, um, yeah. Uh, shout out to you for putting money into a black fighter's uh, pockets. Listen, um, this is a not a 50-50 fight. I think it's a 60-40 fight. Tank is definitely the favorite. Uh, I definitely pick Tank to win. Uh, I, I have no... I don't have many worries. I think Tank will win this fight. I am very confident that Tank will win. And I think it's going to be by stoppage. I think it's going to be devastating. I don't think it'll uh, make the scorecards. Um, I, I just can't pick Frank over Tank, bro. And this is not a 50-50 fight. But you fighting a black fighter. And another thing, uh, this ain't a slick black fighter. This ain't Devin. This ain't Shakur. We ain't going to try to compare that shit. <laughs> Low key, I'm going to tell you, Keyshawn Davis right now is better than Frank Martin. Keyshawn Davis right now is better than Frank Martin. And Keyshawn Davis right now would give Tank a better fight than Frank Martin. I know it's wild to say, and I know it's a little off subject. Keyshawn Davis right now is better than Frank Martin. Abdullah Mason right now. I know that's wild. He ain't got that many fights. He better than Frank Martin right now. Right now. Motherfucker five foot eleven fighting at one thirty. That motherfucker different. He better right now. And the reason why I say this is because these dudes, they're not just talented. They have technical abilities. Abdullah Mason right now fight like a he fight like he got 20 some fights. He's technically sound. Frank Morton is not tech Keyshawn Davis technically sound. Frank Morton is not technically sound. He started boxing late. He fighting on pure talent. Uh he don't have a good jab. Uh Frank Martin, his his most vulnerable spot is he can't get up he can't get out the way of a straight left. He can't them straight punches hit him every time because his head be on the line. Um Frank Martin is a southpaw. Frank Martin big too. I gotta say that. Frank Martin big. Um uh, we'll see if it's a rehydration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Frank Martin big. And Frank Martin is strong. He just listen, Frank Martin. Frank Martin, how good is he? Frank Martin as good as he is. Frank Martin has never really took it to another level. Frank Martin to me is what you see, what you get. However, I don't think he got enough credit for the Michelle Rivera win. That was a very good win, and that was his best performance. That's the best performance of his entire career. That's the best version of him. That version is the best version of him, but it's not special. Devin and Shakur are special. That's why I can't compare him to that. I think Keyshawn Davis and Abdullah Mason are special. I really think Keyshawn Davis is special. Motherfucker special. And I said he wasn't ready for Frank last year. Yeah, cause when I first started my channel, I said, nah, Keyshawn, you ain't ready for Frank. Keyshawn beats Frank right now. I'm going to tell you some wild shit. A tougher fight for Keyshawn than Frank is Kid Austin. I got a video coming about him. Kid Austin getting dangerous. And he dedicating himself to the gym. Kid Austin dangerous. He ain't ready for no Shakur. It, it'd be a better fight for him to fight Keyshawn than Shakur. But that's a good fight, though. Because he going he gonna to bring that action to Shakur. And Shakur going to pick him apart, though. But... That's a good fight, too. It's a good fight with Kid Austin and Shakur, but I'd rather see Keyshawn versus Kid Austin. Kid Austin versus Keyshawn is a motherfucker. It's a better fight to me than Kid Austin versus Shakur. Kid Austin too green for Shakur. He a little too green. He don't have enough experience yet for uh, Shakur. I still want the fight, but I'd rather him fight uh, Keyshawn. But um, I think those fighters are better than Frank. You know, I'm going to tell you the truth. Frank, good as he he's just good as he is. These fighters, and I'm going to tell you another thing, because I, I don't just want to point out Derrick James. Trainers are not good as they used to be. Either. We keep saying fighters ain't as good. As, trainers, are, it ain't many elite trainers in boxing, bro. 
it ain't many trainers that's elite. And I'm gonna tell you something. I think Derrick James and Eddie Reynoso are two of the most overrated trainers in boxing. It's just been proven, bro. It's just you did a great job uh, with Earl and Jamel in the beginning. It looked great. It looked the shit. But when the going got tough, bro, I seen I seen you let Jamel fold. I seen you in the corner watching him fold, and you didn't get on his ass. You should have walked out the goddamn arena and said, fuck you, bro. You ain't going to fight with heart. I don't even want to train you. See, I thought you would cut from that kind of cloth. You watched him fold and then bragged about how many of y'all would have met. Yeah, on his worst day, he still made 20 mil. And it, when Derrick James said, I said, yeah, he Hollywood. Derrick James is not who we thought he was. Derrick James is Hollywood as shit. When he went and got Josh, no, when he went and got Ryan, I really, I said, he Hollywood. 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 Money just don't get the fighters. They get the trainers, too. Uh, Derrick James done received plenty of big checks from old Spence. All them pay-per-views and shit. Uh, Derrick James is never, he was never as good as we thought he was. He never made Joshua better. But the first fight Joshua had with Ben Davidson, he looked much better. One fight. I've seen trainers do that. In one fight, a fighter looked completely different. Joshua didn't look, Joshua never looked better with uh Derek James. Ryan gonna see a damn show don't look better. Um you're not making fighters better to me. Earl Spencer was his best when he was with Blu-ray. Real shit. Earl Earl fought more like a dog when he was with he fought with more confidence when he was with Blu-ray. We just talking real shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We just talking real shit. Then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Derrick James overrated. And low-key, I think Bo Mack a better trainer. I said it because I see Keyshawn Davis getting better. I watched what he did with Bud. Yeah, he did a little something with American, But he got uh, Keyshawn Davis. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other fight that he got. Uh, man, what's that other? Keyshawn. He doing a great job with Keyshawn, though. I I'm just telling you. The only fighter that may be Keyshawn, the only fighter... Keyshawn gonna be a bad man. I wonder if they ever gonna put him against Abdullah Mays. I don't know. They gonna cross paths. But Andy Cruz, that's gonna be the fight for uh, Keyshawn. Three years down the line. Two to three years, that's gonna be a super fight. Andy Cruz is special. Andy Cruz is special. And he imposes. And, I'm, and this is what I've been meaning to say. The best trainer in boxing to me, and, 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 and who got the best gym, it's Bozy Ennis. Bozy Ennis. Bozy Ennis. Bozy Ennis, bro. That motherfucker is the real deal. His gym and everybody go to it. When they really, and I hear fighters, when, man, when I really want some work, when I really want to be on my, I go to Bozy Gym. Bozy Gym is damn near, um, it's damn near legendary, bro. I think Bozy Ennis is a great trainer. And, and the fact that Andy Cruz went over there to him and he working with Boots, Andy Cruz gonna be hard to beat. Bozy know that sauce. Bozy Ennis is a great trainer. Great trainer. And if he ain't the best, I say he at least top three. But I think his gym is the best for sure. I think he got the best gym. So anyway, um Dear James, uh He gonna he gonna try to have Frank Morton box. I, I know it. He gonna have him box. Uh, Tank, which is a terrible idea. Frank can't outbox Tank. <laughs> Frank cannot. Tank is more technically sound than. Don't ever get that shit twisted. Tank got a high ring IQ. Very high ring IQ. Very good skills. Skills. He's more skilled than Frank. He's a better boxer. Better counters. Higher level. Tank. That, I, I never take. That motherfucker is highly, highly skilled. Highly skilled. Highly skilled, highly skilled, special. I have no doubt in my mind that Tank is special. Special fighter, special fighter. Um, yeah, I just want to see the Devin and Shakur fights uh, just to solidify some shit. That's the only thing he got to do, but I feel like you're taking a step in the right direction because you could have you could have fought Ryo. You could have made Ryo rich, and he owned Ryo need to get that De La Santo smoke back. 
I'm so glad you didn't make him rich. I am so glad you didn't make Ryo rich. And I am so glad Cruz took his dust ass, uh, alien head ass up there to 140. And he finna fight Ruck. Cause he waited. He was waiting patiently uh, for your uh, for, for the rematch. I'm glad you didn't do that. We can talk all the shit we want. I'm glad you didn't fight Ryo because that is a huge mismatch. And I'm glad you didn't rematch Pitbull Cruz. I'm glad you didn't do that shit. And... The Conor Ben fight, I'm kind of glad it didn't happen. This is a better fight. Conor Ben big and he can punch, but uh, Frank, Frank, Frank better than Conor Ben. No, no, I don't want to make. And another thing that Frank do, because because you know if I if I'm training uh, Frank, I tell him go get tank, but box, be strategic. I, I want you to break them down. Outboxing tank will not work. You being on the back foot and letting tank come get you, uh-uh. You gotta go get tank. Frank stopped believing in his power. I been peeped that. Frank got devastating power. Frank can clip your ass. I think I I cause tank got a granted chin too. I that tank got a chin that I trust. That motherfucker can take a punch. I seen the punches he took from Barrios and from Cruz. He can take a punch, but Frank can clip him. Frank can clip. Frank Frank got one of the hardest right hooks. Frank, with that right hook, it can clip you. His left hand, it got power in it. His right hook is deadly. He got a mean right hook. Mean right hook. Mean right hook. I love his straight left too, but his right hook is his money shot. That is his money shot. That's the shot that can clip you. You got to go get Tank. You're going to have to go get him. Box, but, but, but go get him. But you're going to have to be very strategic because Tank is very good on the back foot. You got to go get Tank. And you're going to have to do that to win anyway. Just in case you can't clip him if you can't stop Tank. But you must be the aggressor. You got to go get him. And Tank don't throw a lot of punches. You could use that to your advantage. And your defense is going to have to be better than it's ever been. The straight left, I just see it landing right on your forehead. I, I just see it. Tank got a great straight left. I think mid-range and walking him down, but not on the back foot. Not letting Tank walk you down the entire fight. I don't. And you got the arm reach. You shouldn't. You shouldn't let him walk you down. You should walk him down with the jab. You should walk him. You don't throw the jab enough. You should walk him down with the jab. You got to walk Tank down or fight him mid range. Not let him bully you as much and just walk you down. Cause Frank ain't that good on the back foot. Tank is much better on the back foot than uh, Frank is. Frank not that good on the back foot. He is best coming forward and fighting mid-range. And he do a lot of athletic shit. He turn and shit. If you could turn him and catch him with that right hook, a little combination. Um, yeah. Frank could hit Tank with some shit in this fight. Frank really can punch. I, I think I think nobody talks about that, and I think it's very under. Frank can really, 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 really punch. Like I said, though, I don't trust the game plan of... Uh, uh, they're gonna have him on the back foot trying to be technically sound. You can't outbox tank. That's not the way. That's not the way. That's not the way. Devin and Shakir, I can see them outboxing tank. I can't see you outboxing tank. Your feet not good. Uh, and your feet are not good or backward. You your feet good mid-range. Your feet kind of good on the inside because you do a lot of pivoting and turn. You turn on the inside. You do athletic, unorthodox shit uh, on the inside. You turn your opponents and shit. You do little turns and twists. You spin them in a goddamn circle. Yeah, that's your best shit. But on the back foot, he going to clip you. He going to clip you, bro. You got to walk him down. You got to go get him. You, you got to be a dog that night. But like I said, I got a tank. Cause I just think Tank on another level, and I I only think Devin and Shakur can beat him. That's it. I think Tank could go to 140 and beat everybody. So you know, just without Devin and Shakur, I told you, bro. I think I think Devin, I think Tank could clear out 140. I just not. I don't. I think Devin will beat him. But I think he'll beat everybody else. I think he'll beat everybody else. But um, yeah, this is the best fight you could have made at 135 outside of Shakur. Outside of Shakur, and I think you should fight uh, Frank, then fight Shakur and go to 140. Fight Shakur next and go to 140. 
And that's, that's why I say I kind of don't want the kid Austin versus Shakur because Shakur done, Shakur done put in the work and earned the stripes. He's a multi-division world champion. Uh, kid Austin, you ain't won a title yet. Shakur, Shakur, deserve, Shakur is in line for the tank fight. Tank should fight Shakur after this. I doubt it happened. But just, 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 just me speaking, I would love to see that fight. I would love to see that fight next. Uh, and then go to 140, bro. That that's how you that's how you cement your legacy. That's how you you make it into the Hall of Fame, bro. You beat Frank, you beat Shakur, you clear out 140, you beat Dave, you beat Matia, you beat these dudes, bro. You 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 can go and ride off into the sunset then. Cause you're very capable of doing it. I just think I just think Shakur and Devin are better. But um but shout out to you though. Um I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good fight. I have no complaints. I have no complaints at all. I just don't trust Derrick James. Think he done went Hollywood. I don't trust him, bro. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. You're not going to have no good game plan for Tank. And it take a hell of a trainer. It take a hell. And I'm going to tell you some real shit. I'm going to be so honest. Bill would needs to bring in some people. I think Bill is a good trainer and he underrated. But he'll have to bring in some people for Tank. When, when Devin fight Tank and Shakur, you're going to have to bring in a third eye, bro. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Tank is, you need a hell of a coach, bro, to train for Tank. Tank is very different. Tank is very versatile. Tank do it all. T Tank does it all. There is nothing. He do it all, bro. He do it all. So, um, I'm just telling you, um, <laughs> You going in against some shit, bro. Get your back up off the wall. Yeah, you're back against the wall. Uh, <laughs> but now, nah, uh, I'm happy for Frank, bro. You finna get a good check. And one thing I think, he ain't finna just cash out. Frank, Frank gonna try to win. Frank ain't gonna lay down. And I think he might go out on the shield. So, yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.